part of the CBS Dream Team, it's epic. Welcome back. For one young girl in Skokie, Illinois, watching her grandfather struggle with simple tasks due to an illness has been rough. However, she was inspired to create a handy solution which not only helps him, but is now assisting others around the country. I'm Lily and this is my kangaroo cup. At just 13 years old, Chicago middle schooler Lily Bourne is something of a whiz kid, a budding entrepreneur working to perfect products that she thinks up in this design place in Chicago. But our most important invention so far, the kangaroo cup, was born out of necessity and powered by love. My dad and my daughter are very close. He is just one of the biggest people in my life because no matter what happens, he always just tries to keep like a humorous personality. But watching Parkinson's disease take away her grandfather's independence was hard. He's 89, he's had Parkinson's for many years now and uh, so he shakes and spills a lot. He just had a sense of just a loss of dignity and the fact that he really couldn't do as many things by himself. So eight-year-old Lily put her mind to the problem. I came up with the idea sometime at dinner when my grandpa actually spilled a drink and that just kind of like stuck in my mind and I just kept thinking about it. Her dad says Lily's idea seemed simple at first. She said, well, uh, maybe if a cup had something to lean off of, you know, like a leg. And then I came up with the idea of three legs because that's what made sense to me because instead of like immediately toppling over, it would slide and it would prevent it from spilling. It reminded her of how a kangaroo stands, which is why she named it the kangaroo cup. Lily took her idea and ran with it. From a child's sketches to her first clunky prototype to ceramic and then back to plastic again, the kangaroo cup is now something superbly simple and fantastically useful. And most importantly, something that makes her grandpa's life easier. He's very uh, loyal. So, I mean, once he got this cup that he could use from his granddaughter and the connection it represented, he was ecstatic. It's been a very cherished part of the routine. The amount of designs and redesigning and prototypes to see what would work best for my grandpa, and not only my grandpa, for like so many other people around the world, that took more than I can count. Lily's determination to help her grandfather and others got her noticed by the National Student Leadership Conference and even the White House. She had this idea, you know, to help people with mobility issues, specifically her grandfather, somebody who has advanced Parkinson's disease. That story is just completely inspirational. Like, what better way to, you know, give, to, give back to the world? It's just great knowing that it's helping so many people. I can't tell you how many kids or parents, you know, will write us and say, oh, this was so inspiring. Now my kid believes they can invent something. Now my kid believes they can make a difference. And that's enormously moving, you know, for both Lily and me. Lily is a serious inventor, but inventions aside, what matters most to her is her love for her grandfather. You can tell that they still have this really endearing relationship. They're very, very close. This story isn't just about fixing a spill, it's about the connection family members have. This is really a story of, you know, family love, of caring, of empathy. I think that's the reason she's so moved our family and, you know, she's a hero to us. My grandpa is just an amazing person that I don't know where I'd be without him.